Today, I'm going to put my beer knowledge to the test with some really spicy questions. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Guys, One Desk. So as tradition around here is we're going to start the episode with the beer pour, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the brewery here. It's a nice golden, golden color here. And today we are drinking Three Floyds Space Station Middle Finger. And we'll see what our palates think of this um, welcoming image. That's right. And uh, it is an American Pale Ale. We're going to be sipping on that, and we'll give you uh, we'll give you our thoughts a little bit later, because neither one of us have tried it before. But today we're going to be playing a little game. Uh, I've got some questions prepared, and I've got a punishment prepared in the form of some super spicy habanero sauce. And um, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get a clean sweep because that would be, um, that'd be a joy for me. On the plus side, I think this beer will go along really well with the hot sauce. I think it'll at least help cool me off a little bit if I don't seem to do too well. I mean, IPAs are normally, or APAs, I should say, APAs are normally pretty refreshing. But at least, you know, uh, here's the thing. I guess John's gonna ask me some questions. I'm gonna answer them. If I get it right, he's gonna take the punishment. And we have the um, the punishment spoon. The, the sacred spoon. The sacred punishment spoon. And if um, I get it wrong, then of course I will be taking the punishment. So hopefully, with luck on my side, and maybe some hidden knowledge that I have, supposedly, that I really don't have. <laughs> it's that hidden. It's that, it's that hidden in my subconscious being. That even I don't know. All right, you ready for the first question? All right, I'm ready. Quiz right, me. I'm gonna hit Quiz you with me. It. All right. This is a phobia. This phobia is sinusilicophobia. Okay. And that is either a, the fear of spilled beer, b, the fear of an empty glass, or c, the fear of alcoholic clowns. And it, it is again sina. Silica, I can't even pronounce it. Sina silica. Sina silica phobia. Sina silica phobia. I, I'm thinking I'm pronouncing that correct. All right. Oh, man. Spilt beer. Empty glass. Empty glass. Or probably the most obvious, alcoholic clowns. <laughs> alcoholic clowns. I mean, that's pretty scary on its own. Oh, man. I mean, since the topic of discussion is beer, I'm going to go with the, the first answer. A. Spilled beer? Spilled beer. That is incorrect. <laughs> Sinosilicophobia is the fear of an empty glass. Oh, no. All right. Well, so much for my clean sweep. Maybe John will have a clean sweep. So let's see how we... I, I'm not sweeping anything today. I'm just asking the questions. Here we go. Oh, nice we, dab. We, that's ooh, we, that's we, that's a lot. We're gonna do a dab. Yeah, we got a little a little dabby dab. Good luck. Got, I'm gonna sip on it like tomato soup. And that spice is gonna hit you like immediately. <laughs> there it <laughs> is. Oh, cheers to that. Cheers to that. All right, question two. Are you ready for question two? I'm ready for question two. We're just gonna truck right on through this. All right, you ready? Let's Get keep on. Notes. Go let's keep on going. All right. <gasps> so the question is, which country consumes the most Guinness? And this is between the two, not the most in the world. Okay. Okay. Which one do you see consuming the most Guinness? All right. Is it A. Ireland, or B. Nigeria? Oh man, I feel like I feel like this is a trick question. Because I want to say Ireland, but they can't, there's no way that it's Ireland. Or am, I'm I, am I psyching you out? I'm going to go with Nigeria. Final answer. Ooh. You are correct. It is Nigeria. <sighs> Although Ooh. Guinness in Ireland and Guinness in Nigeria are not the same Guinness. They're made really? differently. In fact, the Guinness in Nigeria is about twice as potent. 
Oh, that's so interesting. I want to know how to get my hands on that. So I guess I'm about to join you on the on the pepper train. Join me on the pain train. The pain train. All right. The pain did not go away. Ooh, there's a bit of my dab. Dab for the camera. A little dab for the kids. Oh, oh right in my throat immediately. <laughs> See, I made the mistake of letting it... I made the mistake of letting it settle under my tongue. So it's just right there, right underneath of my tongue. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think that one was a little too easy. That's pretty hot. So hopefully the next question is a little harder. You ready for question three? I'm ready. Question three. Which president signed a bill that created an exemption from taxation on beer brewed at home for personal use? Okay. Is it A, President Jimmy Carter? Okay. B, President Ronald Reagan? Or C, President Nixon at the infamous beer gate. At the infamous beer gate. I'm going to go with, uh, man, Reagan would be such, run it, run the question by me one more time. Sure. Which president signed a bill that created an exemption from taxation on beer brewed at home for family and personal use? Hmm. I'm going to go with Jimmy Carter on this one. Going President Jimmy Carter? Yeah. You, sir, are correct. <laughs> yes. I'm relieved. It was Jimmy Carter. I'm relieved by that. I It just it didn't seem like much of a Reagan thing. Like, oh, it's definitely not a Reagan move. Like I would, If you had told me Reagan, I would have been shocked. <laughs> I thought I'd get you, though, but I didn't. <laughs> a spoonful of hot sauce helps Ooh. the medicine go down. Oh, it's good. <clears throat> It's getting hot in here. Ooh. So take off on your clothes. I'm gonna mix my hot sauce with a little beer, and hopefully that'll stop it from I will say in my I'm, stomach. This beer is pretty delicious. It's really it really good. It would be better if it wasn't pain. Mm. Uh, all right, you ready for question number four? I'm ready. All right, question number four. And this you might get right away, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Where is the world's largest beer festival held? Okay. In which country is it? Okay. Is it A, Germany? All right. B, Belgium? Okay. Or C, Russia on that one day that all the Russians get tired of drinking vodka? On <laughs> that one day of the year. I'm going to have to go with I'm going to have to go with Germany on this one. You are correct, sir. <laughs> you are correct. In fact, it is also known as Oktoberfest which is a huge beer festival, and about 6 million people from around the world attend it every year. And we have minor versions of Oktoberfest in the U.S., usually by um, some seasonal brews. Yeah, but usually our celebrations are pretty minuscule. Oh, in comparison, absolutely. All right, well, you you would have got this clean sweep if you got the first one. Whew. Go with my, my next dab. My, ooh, man. I think I dabbed too hard in that first one. You though. did have a huge. That wasn't like a dab. That was a pour. It was a. <laughs> was, it was a pour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. Whew. Oh man, I'm sweating. All right, hat's coming off. I'm still hat's coming off. I'm still burning from that first one. Who? All right, man. Oh, Rana, Rana. Question five. We're bringing it back to uh, the presidential. All right, candidates here. All right, <laughs> candidates. At one point in time, they were candidates. <laughs> All right. American President Blank okay. had his own brew house on the grounds of Mount Vernon. All right. Was it A, George Washington? Okay. B, Abraham Lincoln? Okay. Or C, Barack Obama's new hobby after getting <laughs> out of presidency? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is a tough one. In Mount Vernon? Or in uh, where? Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon? Oh. My lips are on fire. I'm going to go with uh, Lincoln. You are incorrect, sir. <laughs> it is President George Washington. Crap. Crap. All right. Have your dab. <sighs> Good news. There's only one final question. There's only one question. That's good. That is good news. I'm gonna just do a little. Oh man, I kind of, kind of overdid it a little bit again. Uh oh. Woo. 
Yep, and it hits you immediately, doesn't it? I'm not sticking any under the time. <laughs> oh, man. This time, though. Makes me want to cough. All right. Let All right, let's get so yeah, let's Final get this question. last question. Let's get this last question. All right, this question is about Anheuser Busch. Okay. Approximately, how many barrels of beer does Anheuser Busch make per year? Okay. Is it 125 million? Okay. 500 million? Or one trillion gajillion? What? <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with 500 million. You are incorrect. Oh, that, that, it is a hundred and twenty-five million. Well, on the plus side, at least we're even. We are even. At least we're even in Ooh. the suffering that we're experiencing. You get to experience what it's like to have two in a row, though. It's not fun. I feel like my lips are bleeding. Oh, that second one. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Having a good time. Oh man, well, <laughs> suffering is um, taking place. <laughs> I'm going to cool my lips off. We've been cooling our lips off with uh, Space Station Middle Finger. Very I'd refreshing. Say, I'd say it's an appropriate beer for such an occasion. All right, out of five. Out of five. I would say I really like this. It's um, It's really smooth to drink. It is good. It is not my favorite, but it is very good. It's a good. little fruity. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it's not a perfect beer, but it's definitely not a bad beer. I'd probably put it, I'd put it maybe about, about a three and a half. Three and a half? I would give it a little higher than that. I'm going to go with four. I'm All go right, with four. so three and a half and four. We'd highly recommend you guys probably pick this up. It's definitely worth trying. Great summer beer. Um, my lips are on fire, dude. I'm going to go put my face in an ice bath. Our palates are destroyed. Oh, totally destroyed. <laughs> um, yep. But yeah. My nose uh, is runny too. If you, <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do best, and we will see you guys again in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>